गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी हाउ एवरी जोइन हाई गाइज एनी वे सम वन सेंड मी रिक्वेस्ट अबाउ वीडियो ओके एंड आई थिंक आई डोंट रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन बट आई थिंक द पर्सन इज वेरी वेरी स्मार्ट वेर एवर इट इज यू नो हु यू आर एंड आई अप्रिशिएट द आइडिया एंड इज अ रियल रियल गुड आइडिया Okay, here it is. He say or she say, I don't know exactly. <laughs> uh, he or she say, Maria, why don't you make a video about how to say Poncianas? Ponciana, Ponciana. And I was thinking, hmm, he might be right. So I stopped a loss, okay? I stopped a loss and broke my heart. I was like, oh my God, this person is totally right. What they do to these poor little poncianas do as the Christmas? That's what I want to know. What people do with them? What laws we with them? Well, laws do the right thing. They are three dollars. <laughs> they were twenty dollars. They all like this. They all like broken in there. They have white. They have red, and uh, they're done. They're not any any money for them anymore. So they want people to take care of them, but. Laws doesn't have the time to explain to you, hey, you want to buy this three dollars ponciara? Why don't you take it home and make us a plan? And guess what? You can use it next year. Well, they give you the idea by um, reducing it like twenty dollars to three is like seventy percent more, so about seventy something percent, more than seventy percent, because seventy percent will be seventeen fifty, so that will be dollars and fifty cent, so it's more. So, um. I went there and they had all kinds. I buy like five. But anyway, look at this poor little thing. Is that sad? It's so sad. Breaks my heart. But anyway, why we don't everybody adapt them? Okay? Adapt one. Go to Lowe's and see they have them. They're only three dollars. And this will be a beautiful, beautiful plant for you. Can you imagine pulling this plant this year twice bigger? Red in front of your house? And people are gonna say, oh my God, where you got a plan? Oh, I saved it from last year. And they're gonna say, oh my God, you kidding? I'm gonna do the same thing. Eh, is that cute? So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. And the other ones I have, I'm gonna put it in pots and I'm gonna take care of them. And when I take care of them, I'm gonna, next year, when they get red, I put them outside. And they're gonna say, my goodness, where do you got a, it's gonna be three, four times bigger. Because the rain, the humidity in Florida and all that. Then I'm gonna say, guess what? Save them. You look at this thing, supposed to be holding it in place, but it's broke already. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? Gently, we're gonna squeeze this. Well, you know what? We cannot take this out. So we're just gonna go like this. Gently take it out. This one, this. Okay, this is it. This little thing over here, it's all broke. You can place this in the recycle. It's totally recycled, okay? This little pot, you don't want to use it. There's nothing wrong with this little pot. You can put a, start a plant or something. If you don't want to do that, also recycle, okay? Anything, anything that you're going to throw, anything that's plastic, doesn't matter how small it is, it's recycled. I'm going to use reuse this, and I'm going to put this in the recycle because it's broke. And you throw it away. Don't throw it like this in the recycle. Please break it, okay? Break it in pieces. Break it in pieces like this. And I tell you why. Break it. This doesn't have any squares like this. You see that uh, it's one more square here. Doesn't have any squares like this, okay? This is how you're gonna break it. Why? Because when this goes in the in the uh, garbage by accident, and, st and and I go to the landfill or lot myself to throw stuff out sometimes. This the egos in the egress get it stuck get it stuck in their poor little head like this and their pick like this and they cannot eat okay so anything from sodas anything that's plastic from six packs and things like that yes break it with the scissors make sure you don't have you don't have circles or squares otherwise the poor little egos and egress will be like this they cannot eat okay so besides that, it's one, one tip about recycling. Okay, so now let's get busy with our baby over here. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try not to disturb it too much. Okay, we're gonna do this. This one with plastic over here. So what I have over here, what I have over here, I already have the soil ready over here. And I already have my pot. I drill extra holes, okay? This is a plastic pot, but I drill extra holes, so it's okay. I don't like stickers. I take this sticker off. I put it in the trash. Okay, there you go. This is what we're gonna do. This me, I already missed my soil this morning. That way the video is not too long. It's a regular potting soil, regular potting soil with a little bit of asthma cod. And um, just like this, okay? So, just like this, don't squeeze too much. And then, like that, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, okay? Hold on a second, let me get my plant. And, oh, and let's see, look at this. These plants, when they're in the nurseries, can you get close lookers? When they're in the nurseries, they put these little um, things to hold water. You wanna take that out. You see this? It's like a foamy stuff. You see that? So you wanna take that out. Why? You don't need it anymore. You're gonna put it straight in the soil. I'm uh, gonna get a basket to put the garbage. So, that's uh, good. I don't realize that. Uh, this is a surprise to me. They put them there to hold, to hold the uh, water. That way they don't get too uh, dehydrated in the store. So we don't need that. We're gonna free the plant from that. Free the roots. Okay, that's good. You might wanna cut a couple little roots like this. You might just trim it a little bit to rest, to get it going in a study. Okay, like that. So there we have three little babies here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of asmoco there. Okay. And of course, I'm gonna put a little cinnamon. And then this one broke, but it's okay. So I'm gonna put it right there. This one, it's not broke. Let me see. They can't the tend to break. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break them. Cut them broke. Very easy to break them. Four little thin. I'm gonna take some leaves out. That way the energy doesn't need too much energy. Don't take all the leaves out. You see how easy to break? Just break them with your uh, nails. Sometimes they like that. And instead of using clippers or something. So we have this one over here. We have this one. And we have this one. I'm just gonna clip the top. And uh, we have this one over here has roots, so it's good. This one doesn't. So this one doesn't, so it's good like this. Everything goes to say, Joe. So this branch over here, you just clip the top and take a couple, a couple leaves in the bottom. And this is good, okay? This is good to plant. Even this little one. Nothing goes to waste. You're gonna plant the little ones too. Okay, that way we have a beautiful full um, full uh, plant this year. And yeah, clip the top. Clip a cup over here. There it go. And everything, we're gonna say this beautiful consiena, okay? And it's gonna be very beautiful this year. Don't throw them out, Bring, send them to me. Uh, if you live close by, bring them over here and I can save them and maybe I give them back to you next year uh, see this and fast fast Maria you see them take a cup in the bottom yellow leaves sun yellow leaves sun leaves to observe the moisture to the, for the plant to keep observing the moisture otherwise you have root rot there you go clip about this oh my god I can wait to see this baby and she I'm so excited you don't have no idea there you go so we just get in like this all the little pieces like this the ones with root and without root like this okay there you go 
and get them over here. See that? And you're gonna see what a beautiful, a beautiful. Okay, babies. The cinnamon is gonna dry them up, also, it's gonna encourage root. Okay, so this is it. This is it. Put a little more soil in here. That's okay. And we're saving this baby. You watch this baby, how beautiful it's gonna be. And next year, I don't have to buy them over and over. Put a little more soil in here. And what I'm gonna do after that, after this, I'm gonna put it for a couple weeks under shade. Under the shade for the, the branches they're not here rooted root to root. Okay? No water, nothing. And after two weeks, I'm gonna put it outside and let the um, night do to start wearing it and getting going. After that, these plants don't like a lot of water, okay? And they do not like too much sun. So you can keep it like, uh, again, halfway day sun in one side of the house, under the eave, um, in, the pa in the pool area. Uh, they don't like, they be okay with half the sun, no more than that. Water, they don't like too much water either. Don't water it maybe, if you're gonna put it uh, outside where it's gonna get water, don't water it at all. If you're gonna put it where you have to water it, just water like once a month, okay? Once a month, that's all it needs. And there it is, my poinciara. <laughs> a little baby. And you see that it's gonna be totally okay. I'm gonna put some cinnamon in the ones that I cut that way doesn't um, doesn't get um, any any water in there okay and here it is you see this how nice anyway um two things one more thing okay let's go a few minutes ago i was working over here and i have a lot of friends a lot of nice nice friends and a lady came over, Maria, I have a little wheelbarrow that I cannot use. Can I give it to you? I said, yeah, of course, I can use it here. So this nice, nice lady, Jane, give me this wheelbarrow. This cute, cute little wheelbarrow. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Give, me, give it to me. I want to pay her, but she want money. Look at this. Is this cute? So anyway, I can use it. But since I get a lot of rain in Florida, I gotta drill a couple holes in here. I gotta drill a couple holes. That way I can leave it anywhere without worrying about it's gonna hold water. And I don't like that. So what I do to my what I do to all my garbage cans, all my garbage cans, all my recycle cans, all my wheelbarrows, everything that I have. I, in Florida, I have these little holes for a reason. I don't want, I don't want water, full of water all the time, and it's a problem. So, the water you need, you need uh, the drill, just like this, and a wood blade. You see this wood blade? Can you get closer, Lucas? This is a wood blade. This is what you need for plastic, any type of plastic. So, what you do, just go like this. the water doesn't so now now it's a nice little now I gotta clean my mess now I have a nice little wheelbarrow and when it rains I can carry stuff and I don't have problems with the water holding in there and mess okay see how nice it is so one more thing come this way One more thing here. I want to show you what we got in yesterday. We got all these little bird bots. You love the birds? You have a bird bot for the birds? A bird bot. Very, very cute. This one has uh, birds. This one has um, dolphins. 
this one has manatees and this one is full of fish and then we have this with a seahorse uh, also we got this cute little bunny bench and we got this little guy look at this little guy is he cute what he's very very cute we got him yesterday and i'm so excited oh look at this look at this bird this uh, bird oh and then i got this i ordered these little babies aren't they cute look at this they are making orlando orlando florida why am i excited i'm so excited because they're made in the usa i hope this guy never stop making them because all this stuff including this beautiful boot you see this boot over here made in the usa made in the usa and these little guys too oral concrete heavy heavy concrete it's not hollow like the one that come from china this is solid stuff that he makes it's heavy everything is solid heavy this baby over here uh, must weigh 40 pounds this boot and it's a planter you see this is that cute anyway this is my favorite this is my favorite little babies over here look at that is that cute they're salad and i never ordered this before but i'm gonna start ordering this this oh my god i don't know if i can lift it up <coughs> not this impossible okay this is a frag and a lily pot lid you see that it's cute this might weigh 40 pounds too uh, so anyway i just want to show you what we have in here and it's very beautiful and it's made in the usa Woo -hoo -hoo. So, and then we have these beautiful, beautiful stones over here. See that? Beautiful stones, benches. We got a couple water fountains. So anyway, oh, and we got these over here. These are planters. Heavy, heavy, heavy planters. They, when the wind come, this baby is not gonna go anywhere. They're only $68, I mean, they're solid concrete. They will last for life. But anyway, anyway, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I'm kind of not feeling too well. I'm kind of getting some kind of, I think I will, I don't know, like a flu. Thanks to Lucas, he was sick for a week and he got me sick. Of course, so I'm not feeling me. like 100% myself. If there's anybody to blame, let's look my fault yeah you fall huh? no no that about it you fall i never get sick and i'm not gonna stop working the air outside and the clean air and drink a lot of water is gonna get me better but if i don't pause for a day or two i don't upload anything it's lucas fault he got me very sick and lucas is like my son he's 34 nice looking guy 38 and he's single my husband is Marty, Marty, Martin Scott, and Lucas is like my son. So there you go. I got it straight, don't I? Anyway, um, until next time from Maria's Garden. Love you, everybody. Hoo, 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 hoo.